Hello there! This video is about a nice exercise called finding the majority element in an array. The majority element in an array with n elements is the element that appears more than n over two times. This implies that there can only be one majority element maximum and not every array has a majority element. In this example you see an array with nine elements. The number four appears five times in the array. Five is greater than nine over two Hence, the number 4 is the majority element. There are uh, a couple of algorithms to solve this problem. You can check out this website for a cool introduction to all these algorithms. Or you can have some fun with JavaScript, which is what we are going to do now. We have here our example array. We already know it. It has a majority element, which is 4. <coughs> I'm going to solve this problem by using a JavaScript object that will serve as a kind of hash table and it will contain uh, one element by, uh, by every distinct element of this array. So I'm going to have an occurrences object and in the end it will have three elements. Three, four and two and the values of these elements will be the number of occurrences in the nums array. I'm also going to define some other variables as well. Um, the max number variable will contain the number that occurs most of the times. And we are going to initialize it with just the first element we find in that array. Okay, uh, look at that constraint. We have to define, uh, uh, design an algorithm of time O of n. So this already indicates to us that we might have a loop and we are only allowed to traverse the array once. So when we, when we design that loop, we already know that uh, Everything must happen here actually. Don't do this. Our nums.length. Right, plus plus. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is we store the uh, the current number in this variable. So it's just co some convenience so we don't have to write out this guy here every time we need it. The next step is to check whether the current number is already a member of the occurrences object. So if uh, if this is not undefined, meaning that the current number is already a member of the occurrences object, that means we already found at least one occurrence of that number. Then we just increase the amount of occurrences of that number because we just found another one. And otherwise we have to say okay this is the first occurrence of current number so we initialize it with a value of 1. Now we need to check if the current number occurred already more often than the number we think or we thought was the maximum number. So we need to check if the occurrences of current number is greater than the occurrences of max number. Alright? And if so, we just found a new max number. So the current number will become the new max number. Now I want you to think about this for a moment. Why, why, is it, uh, why is it the case that this always works? So this is defined for sure. Even, even though we set that max number to some arbitrary uh, stuff here. All right? you, have, you have to think about this. But I'll leave it up to you. Okay. Now we're done with the loop. Uh, there is only one more thing to consider 
and that this maximum number will contain the number that occurred <coughs> the most times. But we have another constraint, and this is the the max number must occur more than n over two times to be the majority element. So we have another if statement here. If occurrences of max number is greater than the amount oops why are you doing this R nums uh, is, is greater than the amount of elements over 2 so if yes we have found a majority element we could write line uh, found the majority element and this is max number Otherwise, there is no majority element in the array. Okay, so before we try it out, we're going to fix a typo here. Uh, because otherwise it won't work. So, uh, let's check it. This was array 1 and load file. I found the maturity element and this is 4. Alright, so what happens when I change this, then there shouldn't be a maturity element, okay, no maturity element found. And if I put in this number lots of time, the maturity element is 6. Alright, that's it for this video. I found this exercise on the Twitter profile of the Algorithm Problem Bot. You might check it out to find more stuff like this. I hope you had a fun time, wish you all the best, happy coding, and see you next time.